Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows sleep timer shutdown on your Windows computer. So if you just want to turn your computer to sleep after such a period of time has elapsed, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in Notepad. Go ahead and open that up. I'm going to have a command or a file path in the description of the video here, guys. It's going to say shut down, space, minus sign S, then a space, minus sign T. And there's another space in here. And then this is going to be how many seconds you want this time or shut down to be. So in our case, I just put 2,000 in the description, but you're welcome to change this to any number you want. And this is in seconds, by the way, so 2,000 seconds. So if we were to open up a calculator here and do 2,000 divided by 60 seconds in a minute, it'll shut down in about 33 minutes. If you wanted to make this shut down in 10 minutes, for example, you would select just 600 in here. You just delete the 2,000, type 600, for example. And pretty straightforward process. So once you have that, you can just copy and paste this into a command prompt. So if you just right-click and copied it, Open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match says command prompt, you right click on it, select run as administrator, select yes. And if I paste it, this command into the command prompt and hit enter, our system is going to shut down in 10 minutes here. And it'll tell us exactly what time it's going to shut down based on the Windows time. So pretty straightforward process there. And if I wanted to change the time, I could just add a whole bunch of zeros at the end, for example. And I could run that one here as well. And the command's already running, so that's why it's not going to let me do another command over that. You can cancel it, but for the purpose of this tutorial, it's really not necessary. Once your system restarts, it's not going to shut down again once you have hit the timer setting. So once you shut down, whatever comes first, basically, so whether you shut down or it hits the timer settings, is what is going to shut down your computer first. So pretty straightforward. If you want to create a shortcut on your desktop, for example, you just want to create like a 10 minute shutdown timer in the future, you just want to have a little shortcut on your desktop for it, all you have to do is right click in a blank area on your desktop, select new and select the shortcut. I'm going to just paste in our file path up here, so just copy that, and then you're going to paste it into the shortcut field here, select the next button. And you can name this whatever you want. So if you want to do a 10 minute shutdown, for example, I know I added a whole bunch of zeros to the command, but let's just keep it uniform here with the idea of it's going to be 10 minutes. So let's finish. And now if you close out of here, I am going to go restart the computer because we are going to have that other command that's running. So let's just go ahead and restart our device. And then we're going to run the shortcut that I just created. And now if we went ahead and double clicked on that shortcut, it says it's going to shut us down on several months from now. It actually tells us the date and the time. So pretty neat little feature there, guys. You could really plan out ahead of time as well if you wanted to shut it down on a certain date. You're welcome to do that too. That's certainly an interesting feature here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.